COVID-19 hospitalizations are spiking across the country, including here in Georgia. The numbers once again prompting passionate pleas from healthcare workers everywhere. And this one from a traveling nurse has been viewed nearly 7 million times. No beds means no beds. You die alone at home. Your parents die alone at home. Please start listening to the healthcare workers when they scream for you to help us. 11 Alive, Savannah Levin spoke with her about the message she is hoping everyone takes to heart. No beds in the hospital means no beds. No beds for your stroke, no beds for your heart attack, no beds for your car crash, no beds for your sick child. Nurse Alexis Hinckley shot into unexpected TikTok fame with this two minute video. You might be very comfortable with the survival rate of COVID, but how comfortable are you with the survival rate of a massive M1 MCA stroke with no TPA because we can't accept you at any of your local hospitals. That video for me was kind of a cry for help. A lot of us wish we could just strap a GoPro to our heads to show people what's going on, but we can't do that. And so I was hoping to just kind of give a little bit of a glimpse into what's going on for the people that might not have the slightest idea. As of New Year's Eve, at least 85% of hospital beds in the state of Georgia were in use. In a rare move, six Metro Atlanta hospital systems issued a joint statement this week saying they're overwhelmed, urging people to get vaccinated and not come to the ER for COVID tests or non-emergency situations. You don't want to be sitting there with a broken arm or God forbid, you know, a stroke, a heart attack, and either be looking at a six hour medical flight to another hospital across the country or nothing. And that's what a lot of people are looking at right now. A plea heard around the world from someone who's seen the reality firsthand. And I think that unfortunately, until it happens to them personally, a lot of people aren't gonna realize until it's too late.